कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ अष्टक वर्ग बिगिन्स विथ ओके बेसिकली पोजिशन ऑफ द प्लैनेट एंड द बेनिफिशियल पोजिशन फ्रॉम दम सेल्स ओके नाउ द वे इट इज इट इज लाइक दिस लेट सपोज सन इज बेनिफिशियल फ्रॉम फ्रॉम इट्स ओन पोजिशन एट इट्स ओन हाउस दैट इज द फर्स्ट फ्रॉम इट सेल्फ द सेकेंड फ्रॉम इट सेल्फ the fourth from itself the seventh from itself the eighth from itself the ninth tenth and the eleventh houses from itself okay so if sun is located in let's say aries then at all the positions on these houses that is 1 2 4 7 8 9 10 11 and sun would be giving a benefic effect a kind of uh, it will nurture those houses it will always contribute to those houses this is the basis of ashtak varga likewise with respect to all other planets for example with respect to moon if it is the third house from moon the sixth house from moon the 10th and the 11th house from moon then sun is going to give benefic similarly with respect to mars it is going to have benefic effect from for 1 2 4 7 8 9 10 11 houses likewise we have the benefic position of sun with respect to all other planets including lagna now it does not include rahu and ketu so the collective points in any house with respect to sun is called the prastar ashtak varg of sun so if we combine all the houses as we discussed just now so let's say we we have to analyze the cancer sign and we have planets in uh, let's say sun is there in aries and moon is there in aquarius then cancer is going to get benefic effect of sun because of sun being fourth from itself that is this cancer being fourth from sun as well as it is being sixth from the moon also so it gets two points likewise we have to take all other planets and find out each sign how many points are coming with respect to sun okay so when we have calculated that point that uh, uh, all the points in all the rashis we will have 0 to 8 points in each sign so if the sign contains 8 points that means that that rashi that bhava is very uh, strong with respect to sun so from the sun's karkatva that rashi is going to prosper especially when sun transits that sign so once we have calculated the prastar ashtak varga of sun we have to see in the natal chart first let us analyze the 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 significance of these points in the natal chart itself so you will see if sun is sun in the natal chart itself is associated with eight points then it's a it's a great thing actually then the 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 result would be that he'll he'll have a lot of favors from the government officials he'll have royal connections and he'll receive great honor from the royal family from the royal people so likewise you can see that if the points are four and above like 4 5 6 7 8 then it is a good point with respect to the karakatvas of sun and if it is 3 2 1 0 that is 0 3 to 0 then it's not a good point actually he will have to suffer because uh, at any point of time if some planet is not giving the benefic uh, contribution to the to the sign then it is giving malefic contribution so if you have three points that means out of eight planets three are giving benefic results so five are giving the malefic result so malefic result is dominating you'll have uh, you'll have difficulties related to sun's karakatvas if the points are less than 4 from the transit perspective you have to see the month that is ruled by the planet when sun transits the sign that contains the maximum points in the sun ashtak varga in the prastar ashtak varga of sun whichever sign contains the maximum bindus 
you, you perform any task during that month, it is bound to give you immediate success. Now you can use this, these points to find out what is the most auspicious time for you to perform any tasks during the day. Since sun rules the day and moon rules the night. So uh, let's say the day is from the sunrise to the sunset. That those 12 hours is the day for you. You divide that day into three groups. The first four hours, the middle four hours and the ending four hours. Now you calculate the, the bindus in, uh, in the first four sign from the sun position okay so let's say sun is there in aries so add up the points in the aries taurus gemini and cancer that's one group next add up the points in leo virgo libra and scorpio so that's the second point then the third point is add up the points from sagittarius capricorn aquarius and pisces so that's the third sum now find out what is the maximum value out of three the first group has the maximum value then whatever task you perform during the first four hours of the day that brings in the most auspicious results if it is the second then the middle portion and if it's the last one then the evening portion okay the last four hours before the evening so accordingly you can plan your day in fact you will be surprised to know that generally your own tendency is to do the major task of your day during that time because some people are no i'm not the morning person some people are no they cannot work after they take lunch in the afternoon and some some people they they work at the end of the day okay so you will immediately recognize your own pattern falling according to the sun sastak varga the for, for the remedy part the blessing of shiva thing of shiva then you have to visit the jyotirling the shiva jyotirling in a particular direction uh, that is governed by your ashtak varga so in the prastar ashtak varga of sun the direction now for the direction we have um, we have a small rule like all the agni rashis all the agni signs is leo and Sagittarius they represent the east direction the earthy sign the Taurus Virgo and Capricorn they represent the south direction the airy sign the Gemini Libra and Aquarius they represent the west direction sorry they represent the uh, yes the west direction and uh, and all the Jal Rashis all the watery signs like Cancer Scorpio and Pisces they represent the uh, the north sign so you have to add up the points in all the agni rashis in the sun's prastar ashtak varga also add up all the points and airy signs and find out the maximum number of bindus after the summation if the if the jal rashis have the maximum number of points then you have to visit the shiva jyotirlinga in the north direction if the sum is highest in the agni rashis then you have to visit the jyotirlinga in the east direction if the sum is highest in the airy signs then you have to visit the the jyotirlinga in the in the uh, in the west direction likewise in the uh, if it is maximum in the earthy sign then the south one so that's the remedial part actually like if you see that sun is afflicted in your chart or it is in maran karak sthana and you want to activate sun then the maximum impact you will get if you visit the Jyotirlinga in the direction represented by uh, that is we found from the from this small technique by uh, calculating it in the in the points in the Prasthara Shatvarga of Sir.